Welcome to your new house. We're going to look at the most advanced shingles we can. This is something that you see everywhere, but I don't think most people know that it's actually a steel shingle. Some of the advantages right off the bat, I would guess, is it's not going to catch fire. And we're here in Southern California, that's a problem. Isn't it? Steel doesn't burn, so it doesn't catch fire. Does the weight of a roof make a big difference? It's, uh, it's made a very big difference after the Northridge earthquake. Uh, an awful lot of homes suffered some damage due to heavy roofs. How much does a roof like this weigh? The product itself installed weighs about a pound and a half per square foot. So that's not very heavy at all for a roof. So you're really not going to have to brace up or frame the roof any different for the steel shingle than you would any other shingle. In fact, in many cases, we can install this roofing product over existing roofing and still be well under the load carrying capacity of the building. The new roof is installed with a inch and a half foil faced fiberglass that actually adds insulation to the roof assembly. The homeowners here have found a 10 to 12 degree difference during the summertime inside their homes due to the additional installation. Now you can insulate not only the roof, you can insulate the ceiling as well. And that helps in warm as well as cold weather areas. How do you attach this type of shingle through the roof? I don't see any nail holes. This one is attached through the nose and actually attaches into a batten and counter batten system. So in order to get the product off, you've actually got to shear the nail. Which... Well, that's much like a rafter clip because you have to shear the nail instead of just pulling it out of tension. Right. How much wind is it going to take to flip one of these shingles off? We've actually tested it to 200 miles an hour. And it stayed we, on? And it stayed on. Okay. We warrant it to 120 miles an hour. How about walking on the shingle if you have to go up and do any repairs? Is, is it going to maintain people going across it? If you take a real close look at the back of the shingle, you'll see that it's corrugated. Mm -hmm. And you corrugate steel to make it strong. This one is totally walkable. Front, back, middle, rear. I'm a fairly heavy guy myself, <laughs> about middle linebacker size, and I can walk all over the product. How does this hold up in a hailstorm? What we found is that we can resist baseball size hailstones very, very effectively without compromising the integrity or the water tightness of the roof system. Well, how about as far as a warranty on this type of shingle? The product comes with a 50 year manufacturer's warranty. So you're going to warrant that it stays looking good? Yes, exactly. What is the reason for the stone? The first and probably most important reason, Mike, is that uh, the stone protects the steel, the acrylics, and all the other coatings beneath them. It's a ceramic coated stone chip, and it's quite resistant to weathering. If a fireman has to get on, I guess it'd be safer for that, too. Exactly. It? It's a real benefit in the case of a fire. If a fireman should have to climb onto the roof, it's nice to have a rough surface when it's wet. We're in Laguna Beach, where the Laguna Canyon fire of 94 swept through and burned up almost everything. Now, one of the few homes to make it is right up at the top of the hill. It's got the red stone-coated steel tile roof on it, and that's one of the reasons it made it. The fire just ravaged these homes as they jumped from house to house. And you'll see new construction going on all through here. This gray house they're trying to finish up. Now, the firemen made their last stand right here at the brown stone-coated steel tile roof. They knew that that roof was not going to burn. They all lined up there, got on the roof with their hoses, and stopped the fire at that point. And it didn't go past this and burn up any more homes. Took down everything up here except the one with the right roof on it. So when you're thinking about an investment for your roof, don't just think about how much is it going to cost compared to the others, but think about living in that home, your life, the chances of fire. Could be worth the extra money. How would you like a new roof that's affordable and can withstand baseball size hail, it doesn't leak, it has a great appearance, and it can withstand 200 mile per hour winds? We're going to show you one right now. It was developed in New Zealand where the climate conditions are extreme and a roof can be battered by sun, high winds, and torrential rains year round. Well, it's a base of steel, and of course steel doesn't allow water to pass through it. And it's acrylic coated with stone chips on top to protect the steel and the acrylic coating from the sun or the UV rays. Well, the roofing material is very, very strong, so you can walk all over the product and, and not dent it, crack it, or break it. With a steel shingle, I take it that it does fairly well in a fire? It does extremely well in the case of a fire. Number one, steel doesn't burn. And number two, of course, it resists the embers blowing up under it because of the way they overlap. The fire should start inside the home. The steel doesn't burn, and it doesn't allow oxygen into the fire area. Because the steel is strong and the stone coating on top of it provides good traction, 
this roof is easy to walk on, even when it's wet, and that can be important for firemen in the case of a fire. I noticed that you've got a lip on this that they're actually putting a nail through. It looks like it'd make it pretty wind resistant. We've tested it to 200 miles per hour and it hasn't blown off. We warrant it to 120 miles per hour. So then the shingle unit itself just slides up underneath the one above it? Slides over and interlocks. They overlap? The one next to it. So that's going to hold the top of this shingle down, plus prevent this one from popping up in a high wind? Yeah, exactly. It'll hold this one and this one at the same time. The steel roof we're installing here on our high-tech house looks a lot like wood shingles from the ground, but it also comes in slate and tile looks and a wide variety of colors. It's lightweight. Uh, I guess it helps in an earthquake, doesn't it? Oh, you're not kidding. The heavier stuff like tile and slate can just go right through a house. It can, it can actually collapse the home inward on you. Uh, Dan, how does the roof do as far as resisting moisture? Well, it actually does incredibly well. It doesn't absorb any moisture to speak of. Some of the roofing materials absorb as much as 15%, which if you're in freeze-thaw country, as you know, the water gets into the material and expands when it freezes, and that can cause the material to deteriorate prematurely. Here in the U.S., building codes in most places require felt to be placed underneath the roofing. The idea is that any moisture that gets in under the roofing will run down the felt and off the roof without going inside the home. But in New Zealand, where the steel roof originated, no felt is used. It's that watertight. Does it take any more time to install this type of roof than other roofs? Actually, uh, the roof installs in about the same time or less than most conventional roofing materials. And in a steep pitch situation such as the high-tech home, uh, we build the batten and counter batten system. It actually acts as a ladder and allows you to roof from the top down, which makes it safer and, I think, quicker in a steep pitch situation. And that's the opposite of all other roofing materials. Exactly right. All the others start from the bottom and work their way up. This roofing system is guaranteed for 50 years. 50-year warranty that the product will not allow water to pass through it. Whether you're building a high-tech home of the future or something a little more traditional, this wind-resistant and watertight roofing system can carry your new house well into the 21st century. If you want to prevent losing your home down below due to fire, you need to get up on the roof and start up top. This roof is just perfect for a fire because it's a wood shingle roof, and this is the same type of wood that you'd use for kindling to start a fire inside your house. Most fires begin up here when one house in a neighborhood catches on fire and then embers jump from house to house. To prevent that from happening here, this homeowner is putting steel shingles over the top of these wood shingles. As you can see, it's reinforced steel on this side. If you flip it over, though, it's got granules on it, and it looks like wood shingles. So we're still going to have that quality look, but we're going to be protected from a fire. If you don't want that wood look, you can buy steel shingles in a traditional look that looks much like a composite shingle, and even ceramic tile look. But the good point is, unlike a ceramic tile shingle, if this gets hit by a golf ball or a piece of hail, it's not going to break because it is solid steel. In most communities, building codes allow these stone-coated steel tiles to be laid right over the existing wood shingles, and that works out well. It saves the mess and labor of stripping them off the roof, and the wood shingles provide a ready-made work surface for nailing on the wood batten system. These vertical 1x2s are nailed into the rafters underneath the existing wood shakes. So once the horizontal 2x2 two two battens are nailed in place, they create a strong skeleton frame that the steel tile can be attached to very securely. Now, you may wonder, well, why would you put it on the wood shingles if they can catch fire? Well, one, we're going to cover all of the wood shingles so none of them will be exposed. Also, if we put this over it like this, the air in between the wood shingles and this metal shingle actually helps insulate the home. With most types of roofing, you start at the bottom edge of the roof and work your way up, just the reverse with these steel tiles. And that's just part of an ingenious installation design, as roofing contractor Rick Gallion explains. We start from the top and work our way down, that way they interlock. And what we do is we just put the shingle right about here, and then we lift this part up here, let it fall, put this one here, and then it slides right down. What that does, it interlocks. Okay, so the shingle on top is actually holding it down as well. Yes, and then when we nail it, when we install it in our nails, what that does is that nails through this shingle, 
into the back of this shingle into the two by two. Okay. So each nail that we put on actually is nailing both shingles. So since you're putting the nail in the lip, then if this roof gets hit by a high wind, it won't flip back the shingle, will it? No, not at all. You'd actually have to shear the nail. You have to, to yeah, you have it. to cut the nail off just to, and then it's, it's also nailed into this back one. So it's, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. These Decker Shake steel tiles installed over this kind of batten system are guaranteed to stay on the roof in winds of up to 120 miles per hour. A neat part of this system is the closed valley. What happens is when two slopes come together and the roof forms a valley, since we didn't remove the shingles, we left the old one there, so there is metal flashing down below it. The shingle itself we cut with an angle, and then we go ahead and we bend it, and then we just nail it in place up against the shingles on this slope. Now if you come to this other side, you can see what it looks like when the shingles are on both slopes. We have a really nice tight valley. If any water does get down in there, it's trapped in this metal valley and just shoots right out of the bottom, just like rain going through a rain gutter. So you're not gonna have any leaks on the inside of the home. These steel tiles in the underlying batten system are not only very strong, but are much lighter than slate or clay tiled roofs. So there's no need to add support to your rafter system below. For a roof this size, composition shingles with a 40 year warranty would cost about $7,000. These steel tiles with a 50 year warranty run about 17,000 but they can bring you a discount of almost 20% on your homeowner's insurance and keep protecting your home for a lifetime. When you're building a new home or replacing a roof on your existing home, there's a lot of things to consider like shape, style, price. But there's one other thing you ought to keep in mind, hail damage. We came to a research lab at Texas Tech University where engineers we have designed equipment that recreates the damage that hailstones can cause in even the most violent hailstorms. Using homemade artificial hailstones, this air cannon can shoot golf ball and baseball sized chunks of ice at speeds up to 100 miles an hour. We're testing materials to evaluate resistance to hail. Materials could be on a building or on an automobile or you know, just about anything exposed to hail. Most storms are going to have uh, very small hail. A few large storms will have damaging hail, maybe uh, one out of 10, one out of 20, but those are the ones that do all the damage to buildings. Insurance companies pay out hundreds of millions of dollars each year to replace or repair roofs damaged by hailstorms. And just how much punishment can a hard hailstorm dish out? Researchers retrieved this pad from a test area after a hailstorm in Texas in 1984. From this, we can uh, determine the number of hailstones in a two foot by two foot square here. It's close to 200. Yeah, biggest number I see here, 175. That's a lot of hail in a two by two area. That is a lot of hail. And that's just one storm, you said? That was just one storm. And the, uh, the uh, imprints here can tell us uh, about what diameter the hailstones were. In this case here, of course, that one there is very large, uh, close to two inches in diameter to cause that. What would a two inch hailstone coming down with a little tailwind do to a ready? wood shingle roof? We gave it the here test. Well, as you can see, it left a big dent, split our wood shingle all the way up. It's ruined, even broke the one underneath it. As you can see, wood shakes just can't take a two inch piece of hail with wind just blows it apart. The most common roofing material in the U.S. is the standard asphalt composition shingle. Composition shingles are available at different price levels and varying degrees of durability. We shot some ice at a mid-range composition product. As you can see on this composite shingle, it did make a per perforation all the way through the shingle. Now in most states, if an insurance adjuster can find five of these in a 10 by 10 area on your roof, they call to replace all of the roof on that slope of the house. So what kind of roof can take this punishment? Research is showing that certain specially designed materials hold up really well. This one is called Fire Free. It takes a hit from a one and three quarter inch ice ball at 75 miles an hour. The same as a hailstone falling in a 30 mile an hour wind and shows no damage. 
Looks good. No dimples and no cracks. Tough shingle. Another kind of really durable roofing that is growing in popularity is metal roofing. It's lighter than most other materials, but researchers say it's one of the strongest, most dependable materials they've tested. Shingle just absorbed the blow and it just fell off. It didn't even shatter the ice. We tried it again. Everybody ready? Yeah. Just a bigger dent now? Just a bigger dent. Didn't hurt the shingle at all. No cracks, nothing. Look back here. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's outstanding. So we upped the ante Everybody and shot ready? a two inch ice ball at 90 miles an hour at the metal roof. This material, called DecraShake, took the hit. I can't see any damage at all. Looks fine, even with the big ice. Because of the added cost, metal roofing might not be an option for many homeowners, but it is one of the most weatherproof and fire-resistant materials you can use for roofing your house. So what if you can't afford the more expensive materials? Researchers say a good composition roof should be fine as long as you invest in a quality product with the longest possible guarantee. Uh, I would stay away from the very lowest cost. Uh, I would look for overall performance, not just from hail, but uh, from a standpoint of fire, wind damage, uh, appearance. I think all those things uh, should be considered and not just at the time it's installed, but uh, perhaps anticipate what it's going to be like uh, in 10 or 15 years. When it came time to design the roof of our project house, we wanted a system that was not only attractive, but durable, low maintenance, and fire resistant. We chose a stone coated steel product called Shingle Plus. When you look at the shingles on our project house roof, you think those are ordinary shingles, but they're really not. All you have to do is turn one upside down and see, it's a steel shingle. Now these are made by Decra, and they actually put a granule coating on the top, so it's a stone-coated steel shingle. Before they put on the coating, they also have an aluminum zinc alloy coating. Now this is what makes this thing last more than a lifetime, because if you ever actually get a worn spot, we rub some off right here, Let's say over time, weather, people walking on it, all kinds of things, maybe you might get a worn spot. And if you do, it's still not going to corrode or rust. Again, this is going to last more than your lifetime or the lifetime of your house because of that coating. Another big benefit is they stay on in high winds. You may have had some shingles come off on your roof before, and that's pretty much common. If you take an ordinary asphalt shingle, it's just nailed in one place along the top of the shingle to hold it down. Underneath it is the shingle below it where it's nailed in place. And there's a little strip of tar and you just overlap those. And when the roof gets hot, they actually start sticking together. The problem is when it's cold and windy, a wind can come up underneath there, pop that tar, and then it just starts lifting the shingle up. Well, it's just like a claw hammer motion. It's just ripping that nail right out. And that's why the shingles come off your house. That doesn't happen with these shingles. They originally were used in the islands. They were called typhoon tiles because they made it with a batten system. As you can see, we've got some battens along our roof here. And then the steel shingle actually overlaps the one below it. And the nail or screw actually goes in from the bottom into the batten. That means you have to have a wind strong enough to actually rip the screw or nail in half. Instead of pulling it out, you actually have to rip it in half to be able to get the shingle off. It can withstand winds up to 120 miles per hour. A strong, safe, and energy efficient roof starts with a strong frame. So our crew began by installing roof trusses and rafters that are treated to resist fire. Then place radiant barrier roof decking to keep out the summer heat. And installed the layer of roofing felt to protect against moisture. Once the metal shingles are installed, they will also help protect the house from moisture due to their durable and non-porous nature. Greg O'Brien of DECRA helped us with our project. The non-porous nature of the product basically means that it won't absorb any water. So under any freeze-thaw conditions, it won't gather any water and affect the product's performance. For the corners and valleys of our roof, pieces are cut to size on the ground and then carried onto the roof to be installed. Despite being lighter than typical asphalt shingles, 
This metal roof is extremely strong because it's made from 26 gauge corrugated steel. Another big benefit with our stone coated steel tile shingles is impact resistance. If you're ever in a hailstorm, you want something really strong on your roof. Underwriter Laboratories actually gives these a class four strength rating so they can take a big impact and you're not gonna have a problem inside the house. Another benefit is resistance to heat or fire. We're gonna take a torch here, actually light it up, put it right against our shingle. So you can see we're getting some sparks, but nothing really happening. A Little bit of flame and it instantly blows out. When combined with our fire treated rafters and trusses, our roof will definitely help protect our home in case of fire. So whether it's high winds, hail, or fire, the roof of our project house will be up to the challenge. For more information about Decra Roofing System Shingle Plus and its 50-year warranty, visit Decra.com.